What is up Aztec fans? Today we're going to be looking at Nathan Mensa's freshman season. Let's get to it. Well, Nathan Menza is a big-time rim protector for the San Diego State squad. He's just a freshman, but at 6'10", 225, there, there's a big correlation between his increased minutes on the basketball court over the last several games and San Diego State playing that better defense, especially the last five games. He is a rim protector. When he's not blocking shots, he's changing shots or altogether deterring players from trying to, to, trying to uh, get to the basket when he's there. Tips a loose ball, cleaning it up, Nathan Menza. Oh, Mensa. There's been two possessions. He's had a block, an offensive rebound, and a slam home. Nathan's best characteristic is his defense, which was almost 10 points better per 100 possessions when he was on the floor. The best thing a defense can do is prevent the other team from even attempting a shot. In these clips, watch how Nathan dissuades players from attempting shots and pull-ups just by his mere presence of being in the paint. Plays such as these aren't as sexy as a highlight reel block, but it's absolutely the best thing that the defense can do and will often lead into a turnover for defenses that are as aggressive as the Aztecs are. For this video, I watched Nathan's games against the two other best centers in the conference. His ability to form a wall down low, as he's doing in this clip, meant that the Aztecs didn't have to send another help defender, which let them play more honest defense across the entire floor. When players do take shots, Nathan is very good at altering or blocking the shot attempt. Watch here against a very skilled offensive big man as he walls up, doesn't allow too much penetration, and then gets the block on the shot attempt. There are two big defensive traits that Nathan needs to work on. One is that sometimes he can get a little bit block happy and fall for pump fakes as he does in this clip. It's a defensive fundamental that the primary defender should almost never jump to contest a shot down low. His other issue is that he commits a lot of fouls, which isn't unexpected for a young big learning how to use their strength at a new level, but is something that will need to be fixed so that Nathan can have a much better impact defensively on the floor. Overall, Nathan is the type of guy a coach can build his defense around. The type of guy the Aztecs haven't had since probably Skylar Spencer. He forces other teams into doing things they don't want to do, and opposing coaches will have a hard time figuring out how to game plan against him. Offensively, Nathan is a little more limited, but he did flash a lot of things that I really liked. He flashed a couple post moves in his freshman season, and if he can work on them and refine them, he can be the type of offensive threat that Skylar Spencer never was. He's also big, strong, and athletic, and I'd love to see him run the rim every time down the floor in transition.
If I had to choose one thing for Nathan to work on this summer though, it would be his rebounding and his boxing out. Nathan has a tendency sometimes to try and box out with his arms while facing his opponent, which makes him very easy to get by. You can see in these clips how the opponent just gets right by him as he tries to box out with his arms. When he does box out with his hips though, he's very hard to get around, like in this clip here. We all saw this season how the Aztecs rebounding cost them probably at least a couple games. So him boxing out like this and putting in the effort and the focus to box out the proper way can help a lot. That does it for this one Aztec fans. Nathan Mensa was a great pickup who projects to be a star player over the next few years of his time at the Mesa. And I'm very excited to watching him grow and develop as a player. If you like the work that I do make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to help support me in making more videos, click on the Patreon link in the description below. I'll catch you next time.